Hey YouTubers, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna do uh, some modding. I'm gonna mod my Cobra Denali 380. Okay. Um, reasons to mod this gun. This is a $99 gun, so don't expect the bells and whistles from a Glock, HK, or the other polymer guns. But for 99 bucks, if you can make this work as a backup gun, a truck gun, or even if this is your primary weapon because uh, you're low on budget, then that will be the challenge. So right off the bat, first time holding the gun, you will notice that there are no stippling or rough surfaces that you can grab hold on to. Everything's smooth from the grips. In the back and even here up to the extended magazine okay so this is my first time trying to do some stippling and then oh first of all I'm gonna show you how to disassemble the gun it's really easy and then I'm gonna do some polishing uh, I'm gonna polish the feed ram and anything inside that I can polish Okay, disassembling the gun is similar to other blowback operation guns, but this one is easier. It's easier than the high point since there are no tools needed except for a ball pen or a pencil. First of all, for the safety check police, magazine out, nothing in the chamber, okay? Okay, this has no magazine safety. So push the tab down and then pull the slide up. Okay, that's it. Make sure that no parts go flying out like that. So you push this out and pull the slide up. That's it. So these are the where is the angle, okay? Set it aside. Okay. Okay, I prep the soldering iron. So I have this old soldering iron, it says made in the USA, okay? And this gun is also made in the USA, if that means anything to you, okay? So don't be afraid to <clears throat> do this since this is, like I said, this is a $99 gun. You're not going to mess it up. But I did practice first on this piece of PVC pipe. Let's start. So I started on the borders and on the grip panels so that when you mess up the grip panels you just just buy another pair and then I made a line over here using a pencil because I'm not planning on stippling the whole uh, grip panel. So I don't know if you can see it. See? Uh, you gotta focus it some more. Okay, like I said, this is my first time uh, doing some stippling on my gun, and then when I look for my soldering iron, I was looking for the um, thin tip. I can't find it. The tip is uh, interchangeable on this uh, soldering iron. So what I did was I just filed the tip using this and then did some practice on the PVC pipe. Okay. I'm done on the lower part and then I saw this circle design on top. So now I'm I'm going to try to make a design out of it, I mean out of the stippling, so 
at first I was hesitant to do this but once you get going uh, it's fairly easy to do so and plus you can make your own design just make a template so see let's finish the circle on top make sure that you're in a well ventilated area so I'm in my garage plus I am wearing a mask so that I don't inhale the fumes so this is the right side I'm gonna do this on the other side this is the other side I'm just finishing it off so if you're gonna do this you have to start with the borders or the, uh, the outer borders and then work your way inside and I noticed that after I did the other side this side is much easier to do plus <clears throat> you now you can make your like I said make your own design so this will personalize your gun plus it will add function and reliability to your gun it means if you especially if you have sweaty hands it will be easier to rack and hold in acquiring your target that's important see how easy it is it will be much easier if the tip of your soldering iron is curved and now I'm just using a stand so you, sh you will also determine how deep your stippling will be And then if you mess it up, I don't know how you will mess this up. Because you can correct it. You can run over it again or on the side. Just, if, if it's your first time, do what I did. Practice on a piece of plastic. Almost there. there you go let's put this away <coughs> on this side <coughs> I made it deeper so it's more aggressive this is the first time I did it <coughs> okay um maybe i'll try to do this part okay i'm just finishing off on this front area same principle do the board outer border first and then work your way into the middle i just noticed that this part is a different type of plastic than the grip panels so this is the frame of the gun so as you can see it produces more fumes so this is a harder polymer there okay let's uh, put this away <coughs> let me show you grip panels And this is the front mm. makes a world of difference uh, while I'm on it might, it might as well do this okay so this is the back part back strap whatever so I'm almost done same principle start with the outer borders first and then work your way inside and then if you want your stipplings to be more aggressive you just have to press deeper and 
and if you want a design you can make a sketch first or a pattern and then just follow the the lines or the sketch and afterwards I noticed that I left some space some spaces you you just you just go back okay just go back no problems that's how easy it is to do this I didn't know until I tried see okay let me show you the finished product the grip panels this is the back I didn't go all the way down just to make a design out of it there feels grippy and it makes the gun looks better okay? and it definitely will function better